here are isometric wrist strength exercises for rheumatoid arthritis. Welcome or welcome back to Age Fit with Tess. My name is Tess Halbauer, physiotherapist. Reduced wrist strength is a common consequence of rheumatoid arthritis, impacting everyday function. Isometric exercises are one way to build and maintain strength in the wrists, which can be helpful to maintain function for those with rheumatoid arthritis. By the end of this video, you are going to know how to complete six isometric wrist strength exercises for rheumatoid arthritis. This video is following on from the video, hand exercises for rheumatoid arthritis linked in the description and at the end of this video. Let's get started. Starting with isometric supination, holding a rod like a hammer or stick with your right hand. Rest your forearm on your knee or a table. The movement of supination is rotating your hand so that your palm faces up as if to hold a bowl of soup. Keep your left hand on the outside of the stick to keep it in place. Push the stick against your left hand, hold and relax. Repeat eight times. Isometric exercises describe a static muscle contraction where the muscle fibers are contracting against resistance to hold the position, but are not changing length to produce movement. Repeat with your left hand. Rheumatoid arthritis typically impacts both hands. However, if you are only impacted on one hand, use the video chapters to skip ahead to the next exercise. Again, repeat eight times. Isometric supination works the supinator and biceps brachii muscles, which are located around the elbow. And while supination is typically classified as an elbow or forearm movement because of this, it is included in this video because functionally, supination impacts activities of the wrists and hands. Again, push the stick into your right hand, hold, then relax. The second exercise is isometric pronation. Pronation is the movement of turning your hand so your palm faces down. Holding the stick in your right hand with your left hand placed against the inside of the stick. With your right hand, push the stick against your left hand, thinking about completing the pronation movement. Pronation works the pronator teres and pronator quadratus muscles. Again, while pronation is typically classified as an elbow or forearm movement because of this, functionally, functionally, pronation impacts activities of the wrists and hands. Repeat with your left. Holding the stick in your left hand, place your right hand against the inside of the stick. With your left hand, push the stick against your right hand, thinking about completing the pronation movement. Isometric exercises are beneficial for building strength for those who experience pain with movement. This is because the joint can remain still while the muscles contract to develop strength in a similar way that they would with movement. This is particularly beneficial for those with rheumatoid arthritis who may experience exacerbations or flare-ups of pain resulting in pain with movement. The third exercise is isometric wrist flexion. Wrist flexion is the action of bending your wrist. With your right hand, place your left hand against the inside of your right hand, thinking about bending at your wrist. Push against your left hand. Repeat eight times. Isometric wrist flexion works six wrist flexor muscles that run along the inside of the forearm. Wrist flexion is involved in many functional activities of the wrists, including writing, using a knife and fork, and buttoning up a shirt. Again, push against your left hand, hold and relax. Repeat with your left hand, pushing your left hand against your right hand, thinking about bending at your wrist. In general, typical aims of exercise for those with rheumatoid arthritis of the wrists include managing pain and joint stiffness, maximizing range of motion, and maintaining or building strength. The aim of isometric exercises is to build strength while minimizing pain. The first video of the series, which addresses range of motion and joint stiffness, is linked in the description and at the end of this video. Again, push against your right hand, hold and relax. The fourth exercise is isometric wrist extension. Wrist extension is the action of extending your wrist back. With your right hand by your side, Place your left hand against the outside of your right hand. Push your right hand against your left hand, thinking about extending at your wrist. 
Relax, repeat eight times. Isometric wrist extension works seven wrist extensor muscles that run along the outside of the forearm. Wrist extension is involved in many functional activities of the wrists, including typing on a keyboard, using a mouse and brushing your hair. Repeat with your left hand. When developing an exercise plan with rheumatoid arthritis, an important consideration is the addition of contingency time. This is time that is built into an exercise plan to allow for exacerbation of symptoms, where rest or reduced activity might be required. For instance, in a program spanning the upcoming 12 weeks, only 10 weeks of exercise progression is included, allowing for two weeks of no or minimal exercise as contingency. This allows goals to be met within a realistic time frame without a flare-up of symptoms derailing the program. The fifth exercise is isometric ulnar deviation. Ulnar deviation is the action of moving your hand toward your ulnar bone. Place your left hand against the side of your hand, closest to the fifth or pinky finger. Push your right hand against your left hand Isometric ulnar deviation works the flexor carpi ulnaris and extensor carpi ulnaris muscles. These muscles are important for functional movements of the wrists, including using a knife to chop up vegetables, moving the mouse across the screen to the right, and washing your back. Repeat with your left hand, pushing your left hand against your right, thinking about completing the movement of ulnar deviation. When completing isometric strength exercises, complete the exercises that cause no or minimal increase in pain. Avoid any exercises that cause sharp or sudden pain or that increase pain from resting. Again, isometric exercises are a helpful type of exercise to incorporate into a wrist and hand exercise routine for rheumatoid arthritis due to involving minimal movement of the painful joints. The sixth exercise is isometric radial deviation. Radial deviation is the action of moving your hand toward your radius bone. With your right hand by your side, place your left hand against the side of your hand closest to your thumb. Push your right hand against your left hand, thinking about completing the movement of radial deviation. Radial deviation works the flexor carpi radialis and extensor carpi radialis muscles. These muscles are important for functional movements of the wrists, including drinking out of a cup, bringing a fork to your mouth and brushing your hair. Repeat with your left hand, pushing your left hand against your right, thinking about completing radial deviation. Repeat eight times. Join the Age Fit with Tess Facebook group to get further support managing pain, building strength and gaining fitness. If you have rheumatoid arthritis and are unsure if you have the right exercise program put together, make sure to get the complimentary Fit with Arthritis self-assessment to identify if you are meeting 10 key components of a successful exercise program. Head to www.agefitwithtest.com to get your copy. Subscribe for more videos like this and to continue to build your fitness and strength in the meantime, watch these videos right here. See you next time.